Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope, and you're joining us for one of three videos covering the brand new Simon Kickstarter, the new projects that are coming out. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe you're watching this because you're slightly excited and familiar like I am. This video is going to be a gameplay of the brand new cooperative game, Scooby-Doo the Board Game, where you're doing your very best to work together at the end of one of these animated series, where the chaos has started to descend, the town is being ravaged, and you're doing everything you can to cap catch the crook, catch the monster, pull that mask off, reveal them for who they are, uh, while they're doing their best to both get away and also complete their dastardly plan. Before we swing into this, there are a few important things that I want to point out. First off, we are playing this on TTS, which, while it is a great way for people to connect from all across the world, uh, it is not always the best way to display the finished product of a board game. And so make sure you swing over to the Kickstarter link, always in the top of these videos, to check out everything Simon has in store, from a ton of really incredible miniatures to two other uh, very unique titles and collaborations with Warner Brothers, I am sure there's going to be a lot you don't want to miss. Along with that, Scooby-Doo and the other three games will be uh, coming to retail uh, sometime next year. Uh, so, swing over to the Kickstarter, check out all the exclusives, and know that these will be uh, available at a certain point as well. Whatever the case, I hope you enjoy this gameplay, and I'm gonna throw it to myself struggling to start. Hello and welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining us. Today we are playing Scooby-Doo the board game for the first ever gameplay re revelation of it. If I could get my words straight somewhere along there, Alex, that would be lovely. This video is made possible by Simon and Warner Brothers Studios. I am joined today with four incredible people. And we're going to start with the most important and work our way down to the least. I'm starting with Sarah Shaw. Thank you for being here. Alex already knows he's going to be at the very end of this list. <laughs> Starting here with Yay. Sarah Shaw. Thank you for being here. Uh, board Thank games you. in a minute. You do absolutely incredible content when it comes to uh, things that are more concise than any video I have ever made, period. If you're watching this on YouTube, a link to her channel will be down below. I'm also joined with Vistari or Matt. Vistari, you are one of our uh, one of our Discord community members. You are also one of the Patreons of the uh, Quackalope channel or network. Excited to have you here all the way from the UK. Yeah, thanks for having me. Awesome. And uh, some Scooby Doo action. Down in Sao Paulo, right? Is that uh, Correct. is that where you're located? We have Guile. Guile, you are one of the designers of not only Scooby Doo the board game, but also a few other titles. Tell me a little bit about your partner and and this game that we have in front of us here. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited to be here, joined by you guys to play uh, this first gameplay for Scooby Doo the board game. Uh, this is a game that I'm super proud of, super happy to be uh, to have created along with my uh, my partner Fred Perret, who's also a designer with me on Arcadia Quest and Starcadia Quest. Uh, we're super excited to uh, show you this exclusive. Uh, I'd also like to thank Warner Brothers uh, for letting us just run this video. And um, I wonder how well of a gang, mystery gang, we're going to be. Well, if uh, if our last person here that I have to introduce is any indication, probably probably fairly poor of one, Alex from Board Game Co., uh, my my partner in a variety of things. Thank you for being here, joining us for this game. Uh, you know, I have to take whatever opportunity I can to pick on you a little bit, right? No, it's fine. And the last time I played a come on game on camera, I won as the trader. Um, I don't know if there's a trader mechanic in this game, but yeah. I can, can I can I be the trader? Um, well. Uh, I'll I'll be the trader. I'm the guy who's tra who's the maybe. trader even when there's no traders in games. <laughs> yeah, maybe you'd be the unintentional trader. You try to help us, but you just wreck the game by yourself. Yeah, I'll I'll That's do what I can. You would have got away with possible. it too. <laughs> 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 so so we are playing in uh in Scooby Doo. This is gonna be a little bit of a, a different uh game when it comes to the target that Simon's you know identifying. Usually for some of the games that we've recently covered, we're talking about giant big box dungeon crawlers. Uh, with piles and piles of, of different items and, and miniatures included. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more of a family-focused one, right? There's going to be a lot of free stuff and a lot of exclusive stuff on the Kickstarter, but then it's also targeted at coming to retail stores sometime next year. Is that correct, Kyle? 
That is all correct. Yeah, it is. Uh, so it does have miniatures, unlike what we're seeing here on the tabletop yep. sim. It does have uh, gorgeous miniatures for every character in the game. Um, but yes, it does cater for... Uh, it, it is more of an accessible game. You can play with friends uh, and family, uh, although there is uh, enough gameplay there, enough depth depth there for the uh, co-op uh, chaos and strategizing to get your gamer friends uh, on board, as you will see. But yes, it, it is uh, it is more towards of a family title, yeah. We've done, we've done a little bit of studying beforehand, running through the TTS mod, and uh, I have two things that I want to point out before we actually dive into this. First off, uh, you decided to take a little bit of a different thematic approach to this. Instead of covering the entire, what an entire TV show would be about, which I have watched plenty of in my history, uh, you're at the point where the jazz music picks up and everyone is rushing helter-skelter across the board, doing their very best to uh, solve the mystery, capture the villain, uh, tie them up in strings or, or hang them off the curtains, where you finally pull off the mask and declare, uh, you know, I would have got away with it if it wasn't for you pesky kids. I am going to be your videographer for the afternoon. So I'm going to be flying around with a camera. Everyone else is going to be playing. So uh, if everyone would set up the characters that they're playing, and Guile, if you'd give us a quick rundown of exactly what's happening on the board, and then let's uh, let's swing into this and try to do our very best to catch the creeper. All right. So just as you said, this is uh, it is the second part of the episode, right? We are uh, capturing the monster. We're running across the town. We're trying to uh, get this these resources that we can jury rig into these uh, makeshift traps to finally catch the monster. There are a number of uh, resources at the top that we're trying to get. It's a combination of, you know, nets, pieces of clothing, uh, branches, tools that we're scrambling together to put a, uh, a trap for the monster together. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is that we're going to get a couple of cards uh, for each player, and we have a simple choice. One of the cards that we choose Gets, gets played for that round, and they, the card is essentially gone for the game, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a choice that what I choose to do now uh, impacts the gameplay now, and the other one I save for later. So you're always judging. And those cards will predominantly deal with how quickly you're activating and what type of activation you get to take. Absolutely, yeah. So we're never quite sure when each one of us are going to activate or when the monster is going to activate because we're all dictated by the same initiative, uh, which is secret. So we have a couple of cards. Uh, I'm never going to know. We're never going to know the perfect information. We never know what everyone has on their hands. So we can try to discuss, try to strategize uh, to the best of our capabilities. And then the monster will be activated at some point between us. Uh, and then uh, we review all those cards and we basically resolve each card in initiative order. So I'll be playing as Scooby-Doo. I'll be uh, starting here on the uh, general store. One of Scooby-Doo's, uh, my special powers, of course, uh, make use of my Scooby snack, which lets me uh, essentially hold back. Hello, cat. Let me <laughs> hold back a little bit on the monster. Perfect. I'll be playing as Shaggy, who is, you know, Scooby-Doo's best friend. And I'll be running around the board with my special power, special ability when I use it, where I get to grab resources and put them on any of the trap cars. Helping us, you know, I was really, figure out what we need when we need to. I was really waiting for a Shaggy impress, impersonation there. Uh, so, so I can I can do Ruh Row. I'm not really good at Shaggy, unfortunately. Awesome. Sarah, who are you playing? Yeah, so I'm playing as Daphne, and my special power is Martial Artist, so I can remove up to three of those monster tokens. And then Vastari, that leaves for you. I am Velma, Jinkies and all that. Uh, my ability is Expert Investigator, so I can gain any two resources apart from tools. Very nice. So on here on the game mat, uh, you're going to see a lot of different symbols and iconography, all of which are fairly easy to read when you understand the core objectives of the game. First off, each of these locations are going to have regions where we can pick up, take an action, gain resources, and try to accomplish the main objective of the game, which is to build those traps. Uh, up top here... At the, uh, at the swaps, uh, Swamps End General Store, that's where we're able to actually craft our victory condition or put together those traps that we're trying to build. And then you're going to notice a series of arrows here as well. Those actually aren't controlling the characters. They're controlling the AI for the creature, the big bad that we're facing down. Uh, in this case, we're going to be going up against the creeper specifically, who has his own special ability. Now, Guile, there's a scale when it comes to this game, when it comes to which bad guys we're facing and which special abilities or, or what level we're playing against. That's right. The core box has three uh, main villains, the Creeper, uh, the Green Ghost, and Ghost Clown. 
each one of them uh, influence how the game plays because essentially they have a set of cards and they have their own way, their own mechanics around playing with monster tokens. The Creeper, who will be playing against with on this playthrough, for example, uh, he will knock down trees and just create obstacles, making our movement through locations more difficult. Uh, other players, mm. for example, the uh, Ghost Clown there, he will hypnotize the visitors. He will start, uh, start transforming visitor tokens into the monster tokens. Um, so there's a sleuth of uh, options of how the monsters impact gameplay. And you also mentioned the uh, combination of the team you put together to play also mm -hmm. in, uh, impacts uh, the gang setup you have for that game. Yeah, absolutely. Up top here, we can see that Fred is uh, sitting off to the sidelines because we're not playing a full five player <coughs> game. Uh, and we also also have selected a series of medium level trap cards instead of some of the more uh, advanced or, or harder level ones. And that's just to give Alex the best chance possible of uh, of winning this uh, this cooperative game. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. It's a team effort and you're doing your part, Jesse. You're a good man. I I mean, I am I just get to be entertained and watch this happen. I'm not actually technically part of the team. Uh, so these arrows here are going to dictate the way that your, uh, your opponent, the bad guy, is moving across the board here. Uh, along with that, we have the mystery machine down here in the bottom corner. This is going to have its own special conditions. Gail, can you dive into what that's doing? So essentially, the mystery machine does two things for us. Uh, for one, it increases the amount of figures of gang figures that can be in one location. Uh, ordinarily, each location can only fit one Scooby gang member. But where yep. the mystery machine is, we can fit one additional character. Um, and then the second part is that there's a they, uh, the Mystery Machine has a special card with three gas tokens on it. Essentially, we have three uses during the game. Uh, if you are in a location with the Mystery Machine, you may spend one of those to move yourself, the Mystery Machine, and one other uh, member, if you'd like, another Scooby Gang member, to any place in the in the game. So there's three uses of that power uh, throughout the game. It really comes into play depending on how you know how how stuck we're going to find ourselves if the monster is, is trapping us in a particular corner uh, and, and how different monsters and enemies play out there. And I think the last thing we need to go over right before we start playing this is what are all the ways we can lose? So there's, as you mentioned, there's only one way to win, but there are three to lose. Uh, just to recap yep. there quickly, in order to win, we have to successfully complete all five parts uh, of the trap at the top. And then in order to lose, uh, if we need to uh, get one of the components um, of the following components that we don't have them, we're going to lose the game. One of them being a haunting sign. So if, all, if a location is deprived of all of its visitors, uh, it gets haunted. Uh, which means the special ability is gone until we restore that place. Uh, if we need, if we were to hunt a third location, that's game. We lose. The city is too uh, haunted. The visitors have fled, and there's no point in unmasking the, the in trapping the monster anymore. Um, if we run out of monster tokens, so if the monster just uh, plays his power too much enough times in the game, that's another way. We need to get grab a sixth token. We don't have it. That's one other way to lose the game. And finally, if we run out of cards, so we have a deck of cards there, uh, of action cards. If we need to distribute cards, which is two per player, and we don't have enough to distribute, that's going to be game as well. Uh, just a reminder there that once the draw deck runs out, we still can take the cards that we saved from playing in earlier turns yeah. and shuffle and create a new deck. But that deck gets thinner and thinner as the time ticks for us. Yep, absolutely. All right. And with that being said, uh, shall we begin? We shall. Yes, we shall. Okay, so I believe we start off, everyone, by drawing two cards to your hand, at which point we'll all select our card. How many times should I hit random for luck here? Oh. <laughs> well, someone's already drawn. So. I, I, I already oh. drew, and I shuffled it beforehand. So, <laughs> so the, odds of, he... the odds no, of did... luck are, yeah. And he did mention that he was going to be a traitor. I can see that already playing out, right? 100%. Man. Okay. Just because there's no dice, what? Alex. You're just trying to screw us over another way. He could it's just very hard. specifically be role-playing as Shaggy, who bumbles around and gets a few things, you know, stumbles into success. Uh, oh. I, I appreciate <laughs> it. I will, I'll, 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 I'll stumble around a bit. All right. So each one of us should have two cards in our hands now. Remember, we cannot talk any specifics. We can uh, in, in discuss general, more with... Yeah, in general, it's a little bit... Oh, no, never mind. I was about to say something playing lower, but you never know where the monster moves. So I got a, an actually very powerful card, but I think since we're just starting off, I'm going to save that for later on our save deck. 
And I'm going I mean, to the cynic, the cynic in me wants to challenge that and be like, "Is it a really powerful card?" Mm, he's saving something actually I, good. I think I've really set the idea that there's a traitor in this game. There's totally not. <laughs> Let, let's put it this way: as per the rules, there are no traitors. But you know, there's just table rules, apparently, right? <laughs> All right, and. Uh, if that is everyone's card selected and everyone's card saved out of the two they got, we're going to draw one of these uh, monster cards. And at the same time, everyone will reveal. All right. One, two, three. Dun, dun, dun. So oh. we'll start here by setting up turn order and initiative. And we'll start down here on the monster. So the monster is going to be moving on 12, but he's going to be moving two blue locations. So that's where these arrows come into play. So the creeper is going to move down over to uh, Vasque... Va Vasque... Va la 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 la, if I could say that word. Vasque is Vasque... Vasque... I still can't say it, Alex. So it, the think creature of is that, going to be moving down to... I was going to say, think of that Q and U as a, key, as a K, right? Vasquez. No, just say Vasquez. 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 Vasquez Castle and then over into Funland. And he's okay. also going to be totally dropping trees along the way. And moving first. So with the creature moving first, we're going to go straight down to Vasquez Castle, removing a visitor, adding a monster token to that yep. pathway. And then he's going to head on over to here. Again, we're moving a visitor. And since there is one of our, our intrepid crew is in that location, we're also going to discard two cards from the top Daphne, of the deck. Daphne becomes sick, which means she's lost a little bit of time out of the uh, the team dynamic here. So to be clear, the only reason we added the monster tokens to that board is because this card has the monster icon on it. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, eight of the 12 cards have such an icon. So they will usually be added to the board. And, and that's how each monster is different from each other. The way they play with the tokens uh, and what they do with them is vastly mm. different from one another. Excellent. And so with that, I believe we're going to move directly to Velma, who has the lowest initiative. Yeah. So I was originally going to try and uh, go here and grab some nets. Although I can see the monster tokens building up, so maybe it's worth me, even though I have three, just moving one and clearing the two monster tokens. Sure, I think someone should do it. I'm fine with whoever. Yeah, yeah. I, okay, I think now, I'm probably best positioned to do it. Does Velma moving into that location then block other people's movement? Because only one person can be in a single location, right? I believe you can just move through as long as you correct. don't end the turn. Okay. Yeah, we cannot uh, just end in the same location. We can move through. Okay, so I will move to here and I will use the alternative location ability to clear two monster tokens. I grabbed one of them for you. And I just done the other one. And Excellent. Yeah, that will be Board me. is in good shape again. And that would be Velma's turn, uh, which I believe takes it to myself, to Shaggy, uh, whose imitation I still can't do. And we're going to go ahead and Shaggy will... I'll go ahead and do what you were thinking of, which is I'm going to go uh, one two and three down to the graveyard of ships and grab uh, because i've moved to four and i will grab three nuts from the bag so shaggy's a little prepped to take out that that important trap over there all right i think i'm next or is it daphne it's daphne. daphne's next yeah daphne um so i'm thinking of hopping from here to here to here to here right so that's one two three movements yep right yeah yeah so let's put Daphne here. So I'm thinking I should grab a piece of clothing and the green thing. Some branches there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Practically speaking, it was also one movement, wasn't it? Going that from planet was... to Malchoff. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case anyone's watching, just want to make sure that that's clear. Oh, that was when all I say one anyone's movement. Watching, yeah. When I say anyone's watching, what I really mean is the 14,000 people watching. Thank you for being here, by the way. <laughs> so let's go ahead and let's see. You grab the one branch. Uh, let me grab and hold one of those. Do you mind if I place it here? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Uh, and we're missing one of those. I Perfect. got one in. Okay. And I, Scooby Doo, oh, where are the you? OC, the OCD is killing me. That, that piece of clothing. Rotated. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I have to say, TPS is probably not the. It, it, it could either be the very best platform for OCD or absolutely horrendous. 
it depends on how how you use it, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, exactly. I, I find that my OCD translates to digital. I find myself organizing angles on cards and such and lining mm. things up. Ugh. Anyway, so as Scooby, um, I see that Alex is gathering some nets. I'm thinking to try and grab some of the uh, tools. Well, I'll, I'll point out while the tools are important, I will point out both Daphne and myself can already complete one of the traps. With what you have, Ooh. right? This yes. one. So we'd have to wait till our next turn, though, right? To go to that other Correct. location. Yeah. Yes, and, then, and it's a good point to point out that in this general store, you can actually have two people at a time there. It's the one exception. Oh. Mm. Correct. So let's see. I want to try and grab resources to maybe trade here, you know, make a more, more efficient trade. Uh, and making sure that I'm not too close to the monster, I think I'm going to go... Uh, let's see here. My card allows me to go true. Yeah, the interesting thing is you can kind of start avoiding where he might potentially go in some ways yeah because you kind of know where his pathway might lead him so let me see i think i'm gonna run the risk i'm gonna stay here in the airfield uh i'm going to grab one of those tools maybe we're setting up for uh future on that bigger trap there i think totally this one uh and hope for the best because right now he's pretty close to me Alternatively, uh, we could have it so you have three nets, Alex. You could drop two on that, and then when that's completed, drop the final one on that one, and then we have the tool for that, and then we just need a green. So and we a would blue. just need someone else to go to the malt shop. That's yeah. true. That's a solid yeah. idea. I like it. Yeah, I like the, I like the teamwork. You can only complete one trap at one time unless you finish a trap, then you can carry over and start working on the next one. So that's actually a good plan. All right, we have a plan and the round is complete. We've activated everyone. Uh, we're ready to get new cards and see. When and all these go cards the go to the discard pile, correct? Correct. Face Perfect. up onto the discard pile. They will stay there unless we do recover action. They do not get shuffled back into our hands. They're yeah, gone it, unless we cover them. It feels like you all have a good plan. What you don't know is what probably one eighth or one uh, one sixth of your entire timeline has now been uh, has now been discarded. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm, I'm very aware. Let's see. Who doesn't have cards? Velma doesn't have cards. Does yeah, everyone have you. two cards? Yes. All right. Let's take a look what we've got here. Not too bad. Um, I actually will try to play a fast card because I'm relatively close to the monster. I want to try to get away from sure. the airfield if I can. Because you'll be able to see where the monster is going and then step out of the way, hopefully, in time. Hopefully, yes. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. So this one I'm saving for later. Okay. So. And if we're, uh, if we're ready to go on one, two, three. Munster's moving on 25. Ooh. He's and going he's to be so setting well. down some trees and is moving across red. So Vasquez graveyard. Let's go ahead and put some footprints Vasquez, out. Graveyard. Put, graveyard. And, and then, then up into Wolf's the Wolf's End Lodge. Lodge. Okay. Which makes and me this, really happy I played an early card because I will be going first and I'll be moving two. So you'll be able to move zero. out of the way. Yep. I'm heading straight to game that ends general store, at which point I'll immediately. Oh, I should have. It's interesting. Yeah, I actually messed quite. up. That's not quite the plan. Yep. I messed up. I messed up. I, But the good news is that we don't have to get rid of two cards. So while I messed up the plan, it actually worked in our favor. <laughs> I mean, we still have sure. enough to get one. Yeah, kind of. What a traitor no, no, would no. say, Alex. It, what, it is not what a traitor. <laughs> How dare you impugn my honor. Honor. Go ahead. Go ahead. Make your crack. Okay. <laughs> I believe the next person in turn order is I, that. I, I believe you meant oh, make your No, Scooby. Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo. There's me. You can definitely get there to finish that in time. Yeah, I will, can. Right? I'm right here, so I can just okay. take one movement. So let me, yeah, let me just start setting up what comes next. Uh, I wanted to come to the graveyard ships, but I know the monster will be there. So if I move there before it does, as it moves across, I'll be frightened. We'll lose yep. a bit more time. I'm thinking maybe that's not the best I can do. I'm, I'm actually generally considering hanging in the airfield to get that second. Uh, tool to finish that now, on the next turn. One interesting thing, the monster is moving last this turn, which does mean that next turn you're going to have to start dealing with these uh, with these tokens as well, because you'll have three down on the board. 
and three early on, too. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. Yeah, we can use my special ability. I was hoping no one would notice that, but okay. Mm. <laughs> so, hang here. I'm taking another tool, aiming for this one, and that's my turn. Nice. So now it's me. Right? Daphne. Yes. Yes, I shall move here. I just want to say I messed up last time. I thought it was three movements because I was jumping from here to here to here. <laughs> so, or to here, then here. I was like taking a long way around instead of just going that way. But anyway, um, just to it's clarify the why I thought. <laughs> you, you, it's okay. You took the road less traveled. <laughs> yeah, I was going that way. Anyway, so I will place my two tokens on that thing to complete it. Okay, now I'll grab the other one. In the medium version of this game, the medium difficulty, we flip these cards and there's nothing on the back of them. In the well, more advanced version, the hard version, the creatures that we're facing off against, the monster, will in fact gain a benefit or a boon for every trap we have completed, right? We anger and fur yeah. infuriate them just slightly more. They notice what the pesky kids are doing. They do yeah. start playing back, yeah? Okay. So just, oh so just, just so people are aware... All right. Excellent. And so we are now up to, I believe, uh, what's it called? Uh, Velma. Do your worst. Okay. Um, Why do I or, talk like a traitor? Your, I mean, or do your best. I mean, that would probably be better. <laughs> so hopefully I'll do my best. Uh, I'm, I'm considering moving to the malt shop. And I'd even using the alternative for... ability You're uh, to get a net and restore two cards because I'm conscious we are running mm. a bit low on the card front. And you can still use that, so it's not a bad, not a bad action. Yeah, yeah so we have now quite a few of the traps. Yeah, and you and I met will be just one step away from Funland if we need to at least get rid of one of those monster tokens, right? Mm. Yep. Okay, so I'll use my three movement. One, two, three. And I will grab a net and I will restore the top two cards. And then the creeper starts stomping through, through the castle, removing a tourist. And look at Vasquez castle only has one visitor left. I will into the out. graveyard. The graveyard so, of yeah. ships. Okay. Yeah. And up into Wolf's End Lodge, and on the way, ripping down banisters and, uh, and destroying trees and just leaving uh, havoc in his wake. Um, so, let's go ahead and put those cards into the discard pile and prep for round three. I need... I need to do serious research if ducks were ever at all included in Scooby Doo, and if they were, start a petition to demand that they're in, that they're part of this game officially. It's a thing, right? I mean, it should be. I mean, Certainly uh, should be. Why do the footprints of the monster look like Morse code? Uh, is this supposed to mean something? Okay. Uh, it looks like Duck Guy was a favorite bathtub toy of Shaggy Rogers. <laughs> Noted. <do> no. Noted. <laughs> All okay. right. <laughs> All right. Let's deal two cards. So we're down uh, 12 cards on the action deck before the first rundown of that deck. Let's see here. We've got two cards to traitor. I mean, green, two to orange, two to pink, two to brown. Let's see what we've got here. Mm. Hmm. So oh. I can be quite slow but I can potentially remove quite a few monster tokens, I think. Nice. But I don't yeah. know if that'll be too slow, that's the question. Yeah, that's I the that's the issue. If he goes early and drops two more... We'll be on the brink. Yep. Okay, so I can and go early -ish. I can only... My range of movement is pretty limited this round. Um, let's see. So I can either move yeah. early and clear a small amount of tokens or move later and clear a larger number. Oh, sorry, and I should have been discussing my cards with you guys too. It's huh? all good. I, I would not rely <laughs> on me being able to do much as far as monster token control. I'd... I can help with the monster token since that's my special ability. Um, I'll be moving pretty late in this round. Okay, I'll, I'll try to help with the visitors if I can. I'm not gonna focus on the on the traps for this for this round. Let's see if I can be of some help here. This one, okay. it's being played. That one is and saved for later. On one, two, three. Ooh, going late. Oh, everyone's going late. Holy cow! Whoa, Scooby Doo, and it's up to wow. you. Wow. All right, so. 
So, moving to, which is good news for you all. Uh, down blue, so across here. And down to Vasquez Castle. And then down to Vasquez Castle, uh, dropping the last two Ooh. monster tokens, but luckily not dropping a third one. Uh, okay. Oh, not yet, Al. Sorry. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Not I was yet. a little ambitious, a little eager. We're gonna start so with uh, we're gonna start with Scooby Doo, and then, so I think and then it, he's gonna go. Yeah, I think it played out. I'm just gonna come here to the fun land. Uh, I am going to use a second ability there, which gets rid of one monster token. Uh, it also lets us recover two visitor tokens of my eyes from Vasquez Castle, which would oh, have otherwise good. become haunted. Yes. And the card that I played for this time uh, for this round lets me restore one additional token. So we're storing uh, three out of the five that were removed since. So let's go ahead. I, would, I would, yeah, I'd place two there because he is going to step there. Now, can I recommend uh, getting rid of this monster token over here? Uh, yes, does that affect your movement for this round? Is that nope. Rather, if he ends up in Vasquez Castle, he's currently going to have a monster token on all three sides, and yep. that means no matter which way he moves out, the first monster token mm. is immaterial. And where uh, where would you like this third visitor token to be placed back on? We've got the graveyard, and we have the uh, Funland. Um, we also have the Wolf's End Lodge. Oh yes, yeah. But he's going to move out of that place. Um, I'm thinking the Graveyard of Ships because we're okay. aiming for those nets at some point. Nice. Um, and I'm going to talk this one. I'm getting rid of this token. And we recovered three. So that was my turn. Hopefully, Matt, you were not aiming to the Funland. No, I was going to go to the Witch's uh, Shack and remove two. Because my card also lets me remove an additional two if I was going to remove some. So I can remove a potential four tokens. All right. Well, so, I'm next, and the monster right? is current. I believe the monster is next. Yeah, I'm oh. very far away in the initiative. No, this is this is good though because we don't want you to the monster to be there. If the monster moves through the witch's shack while you're there, that'd be problematic. Yeah. So let's go ahead and put out two of those tokens. To be clear, and... we're playing this card, right? This is the deck, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. This card. Playing this one. Yeah, we should so just put moved. them directly on top moving forward. Well, because I have to flip them. Yeah. Sure. Once once you flip, flip it. Yeah. Once I flip it. Yes. Cool. Okay, so the monster so, has moved. There are no cards discarded. Uh, bad things happened. Trees are down. Uh, the 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 Scooby, the Mister Machine, is a bit in you know worried over there. And now it's time for Daphne. I think Daphne. Yes. Yeah, so Daphne, Daphne yeah. can reveal reveal the top card of the monster deck. So shall we do that? I believe that's an excellent plan. I'll let someone who's more okay. technologically. Up Top to card do. is a 21, three movement, and placing down. Now, here's where minion tokens start becoming a big deal. Yep. So let's go ahead and just... I'm going to use these footprint tokens just as a visual reminder for us. He's going to come... I got the last one. I got the last one. There you go. All okay. that way. Okay. So I have three movements, and I also have my special ability. Do you guys think we should use it at this point or save it or... Um, I think given that we know where the monster is moving and how, because I can watch into the Witch's Shack pretty easily and take some uh, tokens off the board. I'd rather okay. save it personally. Okay, so shall I just work on collecting some resources then? Yep. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, okay. Um, so I have three elements, so... What do we need? Which one are we working towards? Um, Do you guys know which I've, one we're I've got two tools sort of aiming for uh, that one, for the uh, tools uh, uh, nets. Yeah, yeah, if you can make your way to the net thing, that's great, as long as you can be sure to move away before a 21. So it's so a bit of a risk. So this place but... here? Uh, no, mm -hmm. graveyard of ships. Graveyard of ships. This one? Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's one, two, three. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, and that'll work. You just need to make sure you move quick enough to get out of the way before he comes stomping through. Okay, sure. Stomping, he will go. That so actually means we nets? actually, between us all, have enough nets. How many nets does that give me? Uh, For everything. Three. Yeah, you can get three, three nets, nets from, that, from the area, and we should now have enough to deal with this part. Okay. I want cool. to okay. you your nets there, Sarah. Perfect. Well, thank you. And I believe... That goes to myself. I am going to walk uh, up to four, but I'm going to go one, two into the Witch's Shack. And I'm actually going to go ahead and remove this token first so that Sarah has access. Not going there, Alex, just because I was going to go there and remove four tokens. Oh, you, oh that seems reasonable. Oh, yeah. I will, I will not go there. 
What is it? Uh, moving, you may move two additional. Yours seems better. Uh, good, good point. Okay, so I think I will focus instead. We already have nets over there. Um, I think I will go to the general airfield then and just keep general things in control. So I'll restore one card from the discard to the save deck. And nice. I will draw one net, which means we're slowly going to not need nets, which I already have two there. Um, and then I will add a visitor back onto uh, this castle up here, Wolfland Lodge. You okay? Yep. Okay. Uh, so on my turn, I will move one, two, three, stop here. Uh, and I will remove two using the alternative ability on Witch's Shack, but then due to my yeah, card, that, uh, I'll remove an additional two. That so special that's ability is not too bad. Not too shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a mandatory, yep. Yeah. It's okay. It's I feel good. like every time you play this game, when it's Scooby's turn, someone's gonna be like, "Scooby, Scooby, where are you? Scooby, -Doo, <laughs> where are you going?" That is that is not the song, Alex. If you're gonna if you're gonna sing, you gotta commit. If you, Scooby, if you Scooby, 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 where are you? you? We've got some work to do now. Okay. There you go. Alex, should you back I it, video? Please. Oh, I should. Oh, good idea. Should you back it? Scooby, Scooby, do should I back you? Okay. Anyways, oh, I'm going to make a whole song out of this. Okay, great. You heard of her first. Thanks, Matt. Wow. Well, no, no, it feels no like worries. a challenge. You have to do that on your channel. You have to finish uh, the song. That's going to happen. It's going to be a thing. <laughs> okay. And I believe we are now done with the round, and we can go to the cleanup and discard. All right. So the cards we played back here. There's Someone no big yeah, I'm sorry, I just put mine on the air. Oh, now I put on the entire save deck. I just put mine by accident on oh, the save deck. <laughs> okay. I'm glad it wasn't um, me who did that. That's like something I would do. <laughs> and now we move to the next round. We are running low on cards. So, you want to explain, uh, Guile, what happens when we run out of cards there? Right. So, when the draw deck, whenever the draw deck runs out, uh, we take the cards that we've saved from pre previous rounds, which are here on the save deck, shuffle them build a new draw deck, and that's between those two decks, those are the active cards we have for the game. Uh, everything that we've played during our, our turns and use them, they go to the discard where they stay unless recovered. So we are we do have a finite amount of time to, uh, to imprison the Creeper before the whole city is scared. And there are abilities we can use to draw back cards, which we have primarily been focusing on managing the traps and the monster uh, and the Creeper, and therefore we have been neglecting maintaining mm -hmm. our time. That's true. So I've dealt out of the four cards. I've dealt uh, two to Daphne. I gave one, I think, to Alex, and now the second one. So we need cards for myself and Vistari. Let me just put them here. And I'm still totally imagining like crashing drums and brass music in the background, and uh, you know the, the the like slow animations of uh, characters running with the creepers' arms just swinging back and forth. We need it. Now we just need it now. All right, let's see what we've got here. Now you know where he's going. Yes, we do. And how fast. And how yes, fast. Yes, we do. I think I'm going to go very fast this turn. Try to take a look at the uh, the traps again. Things otherwise seem to be sort of controlled. I'm just going to drop this one there. Unfortunately, I can't go as fast as I was hoping, so we'll see. It is what it uh -oh. is. Uh-oh. It oh, is what no. it is. I haven't chosen myself yet because I'm still trying to balance all the things that need balancing here. Oh, okay. actually, I think I will be fine. Never mind. Never mind. Sure. On one, two, three. But um. Yeah. So I'm oh, fine. everyone's going um, for him. Nice and clean, yeah. except Velma. I'm much slower than I thought I was going to be compared to everyone else. Okay, and I believe I'll be starting us. Nope, nope, Scooby Doo. Jeez, that's me. Now here's a question for, for the for the gang. Can we run the risk of getting frightened? One of the options I have is to hop over here to Vasquez Castle. I get frightened, which lets us, which makes us lose two cards. But then we would be able to move the Mystery Machine along with myself to the General Store, so we'd have be able fun? to fit three players, and I'd okay. have two things. Mm. So unfortunately, I only have one movement, so I can't help fulfill a thing this turn. Mm. I can do that, or I could come to the uh, mouth shop, grab more pieces, which we still need uh, a number of. 
Yeah, what I'd, go, I'd go to the malt shop, given the fact that Daphne can't head there anyway. Mm, and she's probably going to be frightened no matter what, because her movement zone doesn't give her an exit. Wait, right. but if I come here, won't I not? No, she can head to the witch's shack. She can end in the witch's shack. Uh, no, she only has one movement. movement. Oh. Yep, there's no no what? movement for her that does yeah, not put her in place. Wait, if you move into uh, if you move into Vasquez Castle, you'll still you'll still interact with him before he moves out. Oh right. Yeah, you still Duh. get frightened by him, and then you could use the Mister Machine. That's true. All right. So considering that, yeah, considering that Sarah is going to get frightened, I'm not gonna get uh, another frightened for this time. Just gonna end up here in the mouth shop, yeah. and I'm going to get the first ability there for some cloves and branches, which I'm totally just uh, holding in my mouth, right? Who goes after Scooby? Uh, Shaggy. Okay. Shaggy. So, um, I believe I'm going to head down to Funland and grab two greens. We're going to need a whole bunch of those coming up and some cards. Sure. Okay. And that's going to be one, two greens. Now, if you got one more green, you'd have what you I, need to complete a card I on know. your own. I know. Yeah. Or I can also use my ability. It's, it's getting to a point where at certain points we will decide to use our abilities. I would yep. need anyone to get a green, which I believe Scooby has a green. That's true. I do. That is true. Uh, then it's going to be over here to uh, Daphne. So shall I go here or shall I go here? Now, she could do the mystery machine Move. that you were thinking of, right? She could. We get to spend one of the gas tokens and she move herself. If she's getting scared either way. Yep. It'd be a handy way to get there and increase the locations, uh, amount of figures we can have there. Okay. So Daphne gets frightened by the creeper. We take two cards from the draw deck and move them directly to the discard pile. Mm hmm. And then does she get to take the action here at Vasquez Castle? She does, yeah. So... Oh, sorry. If you use the Mystery Machine, it's the location where you end. It's either you end here now and take the Vasquez Castle, oh. or you move with the Mystery Machine and then take the action so, where you end. So any, any location where the Mystery Machine is may have an additional Scooby Gang member. A Scooby Gang member that ends their movement at a location where the Mystery Machine is may discard one gas token to use it. And then when they use it, they get to move them, move it around the board, right? Yes. Okay, so... Interesting. Nice. Okay, so should I be doing that, or...? Yeah, go for it. Where are the gas tokens? Uh, I'll remove are... one from uh, yep. the machine up here. Yeah, all the way up there. Okay, and where shall I move it? Uh, well, to you'll the... Get... She'll get to take the action where it lands. So you'd mentioned moving it up here to the uh, the, cra the the Swamp's End General Store um, to allow more people to be able to go to that location. But are there exactly. any locations where she needs to where she needs to gather resources? If there are, I will say as long as meaning so, so Scooby, just as a point uh, Scooby and Shaggy together, if we hit the trade, the traps crafting phase next turn, we can complete two traps. We don't even need the thing mm. there. So, I mean, it's not, I'm not averse to having the Mr. Machine in the general store, but if there's anywhere else you want to go, have at it. Why do we benefit from the Mystery Machine being at the general store? It allows a third person to be there, which for oh, trading so and traps. back with yeah. the, the it, shop. Okay. It, yeah, it does help us to pull more people together and uh, okay. craft the traps. You know, okay. I'm not seeing a lot of locations that add a ton of value. Uh, cards, possibly. And do I still get to grab a net and the green That's true. token? That is true. Or, or a net and the uh, clothing? It would depend Vasquez? on where the mystery machine... You no, know, it would depend on where the mystery machine is ending. Uh, and uh, Sender just pointed out that cards potentially could be valuable, which would be the airfield instead of yeah. the uh, uh, instead of the crafting location. Yeah, I can right actually yeah, tackle that on my turn. Uh, with the wolf's lodge, I could probably remove four cards from discard back into save okay so are we agreeing with the airfield then uh, it, it works it's up to you how you want to 
But either you go either one works. Either one has a reason. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I agree with the airfield. We probably want to restore some of our cards, I think. Great. Okay. 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 So that's going to give her... Uh, the, the last visitor is restored. I'll take one care of that. visitor uh, and restore one card from this deck into the uh, into the main Great. deck. I took care oh, of the uh, to the save deck. I took care of the the, the card and the visitor. And Good. now we have the net. There you go. Thank you. Excellent. And I believe that leaves to Vel. Nope, the monster, the creeper. So now okay. he performs that movement that we've seen. So okay, knocks. I'll grab. Okay, you got the visitors. Perfect. I'll get the yep. footprints. These. No. Oh. So he's removing one location, one visitor per location, which we're doing fine at the moment. We ran a bit of a risk there in the Vasquez Castle, but things are a bit better now. And he's again just knocking some obstacles there for us. We are down to two monster tokens. But he's used a lot of those activations. He did. He did. Yeah. Now, to be clear, by the way, um, we if we have to draw a card and we can't, that's when we lose? Yeah, correct. Okay, so that's going to be... I mean, we're only at 14 cards in our collective deck, and we, we <laughs> need to win at all times. <laughs> Let's just keep that in mind. Yeah. Remember that some of them might still return to the to the save deck, right? Uh, oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. But we yeah, are running up. You're still time here. two yeah. turns down from, from end game unless you do something about it. Correct. Yeah. And That's we still good. have a few trap pieces, uh, parts to complete there. It's not like I have any desire to lose this game. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone has tools, I mean, I can easily get three of those. Now, Oops. that kind of stinks that he landed there because like you were pointing out, Shaggy and Scooby could go complete two traps at the same time, but he's sitting on the location. High value mm -hmm. cards. Go high. Yep. Hope, if hope we the enter there first. now, That's we true. do progress towards Let crafting him... traps, but we're losing time. Right? He's, he's frightening us. Let him move out of the location. Yeah. Okay. So. Velma, to you. Yeah. So I guess I've got kind of a tough decision here. I can either stay where I am and clear two of the monster tokens because we're running mm -hmm. quite low, or alternatively, I could move to the Wolf's End's Lodge. Wolf End's Lodge. Yeah, you know what I mean. And uh, discard, well, move four cards from the discard deck into the mm. save deck. Which do you prefer? I'm indifferent, but whatever the team thinks is the best, I'm happy to go with. Um, I would do cards if only because the people who need to get there uh, don't care about monster tokens as much. Although the flip side is we could potentially end up in a situation where he plays out three monster tokens and we lose. So actually, I'm and not we have, sure. Well, we have my ability, so don't forget my special ability to remove three monster tokens. Oh, well, you, that's a good you point. have to go before he goes, yeah. right? She, she would have to go to... early. Yeah. So it is risk management at this point, right? Like like uh, Jesse pointed out, he's played a number of cards uh, that did uh, trigger yep. the obstacle placement. So he may be running 10 on those cards. Uh, mm -hmm. Remember that one of those cards in Monster Deck, uh, card 41, also reshuffles the monster card. So at some point, yep. those odds may be, may be reshuffled, right? Okay, yeah. so there, think, yeah. I'd probably go for restocking that discard pile if I was making a choice. Yep, so I'll move to Wolf's End Lodge. I actually got it right this time. I'll move you there. Get four cards back. Will, yep, are you doing that? Or okay. I? I'll take care of them. One, two, and three, four. Okay. And that was this round, right? Yes, it was. Uh, it was. Yes, sir. Right. So our Sorry cards to go discard. to discard. And we get okay. to deal new cards. So let me go ahead. Choose the green. Sarah, orange, and brown. Okay. I can confirm that I, 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 I have the good faith and belief that I will go after the creeper. Okay. Uh, I wanted to go slow this turn. I, I would like the monster to move away, and then I can move into the general store. <laughs> Listen, uh, he might. We don't know. We don't know. Ooh. Don't be, Don't be so negative. Okay. I have no ah. choice but to go slowly. Also, let's be frank. If if things don't go your way, you literally only have yourself to blame. I mean, it's true. You could have also said, "Let's be Fred." But no, I'm saying he designed the game. That's the joke. <laughs> he designed the game. He only has himself to blame. It's on me, right? Okay. Um, I believe I have chosen. I would say wisely, but let's be honest. Uh, 
Okay. I believe we're all good on three, two, one. Boom. Oh my oh, god. Oh, what are you oh, talking about? No. Holy cow. I'm very sorry, everyone. So, first off, that's bad news for two reasons. First Man. off, he's going very oh. slow. Second off, his odds are being reshuffled this turn. Yeah. And he's reshuffling the entire deck. Yep. When the most of the deck that we drew until now was basically all 100%. cards with symbols. Okay, 100%. good. Okay, good. And he's he's going to hog the general store for the round, for the entire round. Oh. Yeah. 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 New plans, new well, plans. let's put down his feet so you all can at least see where he's moving. Okay. <sighs> Okay. Um, there would be four blue, right? One into the airfield. Two then, into the witch's shack. He loves Vasquez. Down to Vasquez. Yeah. Oh, Vasquez. Down and then over into Funland. Okay. So Take for my turn... To... Sorry, go on. So in this round, for my turn, I can restore up to two additional cards if I restore Scooby gang cards. Excellent. Can I make a suggestion then? Um, yeah. Given the fact that this added a whole delay to our game, and given the fact that you can restore extra cards, I'd recommend taking the Mr. Machine and dropping it off in Wolf End's Lodge so that we could have multiple oh. people doing that. That's not a bad okay. idea. Although, yeah. if she moves now on this turn, we're still going to get frightened, right? No, no. Where? But to Wolf End's Lodge? Ah, to the Wolf End's Lodge, sorry. Ah, should be yeah. fine. Yeah, this yeah, would give fine. us the capacity to restore eight cards in a turn, which, given that that's our yep. current greatest weakness, it buys us a lot of time. It's an entire yep. additional turn. Yep. But that does mean we'll need you guys to restore some monster tokens, because as soon as he goes, he's going to try and place four. No, nope, he won't drop any this time. Ah, he's not activating. Okay, okay, yep. we're safe. No. Um, well, so I, I think I go first with 14, which was my slowest card for the round. I, was, I tried to go slow. The game said nope. I'm thinking um, seriously considering that staying over here because um, these places he will go through. We do not want to lose any more cards. Yeah. We do not want to go through him. Uh, I consider stopping by the mystery machine to get a uh, um, to piggyback there, mm -hmm. but uh, but there's already Velma there. I think I'm gonna stay put and uh, just gather a few more items so that when I finally am able to move into the general store, I should have the means. Mm -hmm to contribute there we're we're in a good spot when it comes to items honestly we are there we go we just gotta get there now okay so that was me and now i think daphne's next so i'm gonna go where's wolf's and sludge over right here, here where velma is wait i don't have so... oh okay, i do have enough movement okay well, I'll take a gas can off, and you'll be able to actually move the mystery machine over there with you so that you can have two people on a single location. Okay. So I'm going here. Uh -oh. I believe the correct term is rut row. Rut row? <laughs> rut row Where did it go? Here. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. She's right there. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Dang. so now I can... Um, Restore some cards, right? Yes. Go uh, for it. So if you go for this secondary ability of Wolf and, uh, Wolf and Lodge, then we get the cards moved into our safe deck. Okay. I'll take care of it. Someone I else want to do that? <laughs> yep, you. yep, I'm going to allow it. And okay. play moves on to Shaggy. Uh-huh. Okay. Shaggy, Shaggy, Shaggy. Okay. You got to get out so, of there. I do need to go out of there. The question was, I was originally going to go to Wolfland's Lodge because we already had two people there, though, so I can't get out of there, which means I think the right move, the right move, is heading to the malt shop, actually, where I will also discard... You can't have two I can't. people there. The right move is cheating, is what I meant to say. Yeah. Okay. You're not um, wrong. <laughs> yes. Generally, it is. Generally, it is. I think I'm going to head to Graveyard of Ships, which you I see someone is... there either. No. One second. I have four movement. I can go one. You cannot get in there. I cannot so get in there. The creeper has blocked off the grave of the ship. You know what? I don't appreciate any of your suggestions, Jesse. They are not helpful in the slightest. <laughs> I don't. I don't think you can okay. get out of this situation. I can't get out of the situation. So you know what I'm going to do? Given that, given that I can't get out of the situation, I'm just going to charge it up him. And head. I'm going to head. Run, ahead. You run into the location. Why? Just why waste time? Why waste time? This guarantees next turn I'm safe or ish. <laughs> okay. Cool. So uh, we're going to go ahead and discard two cards from our deck now to the discard, which oh, I believe oh, triggers no. a reshuffling. 
on a turn it on does. a turn we were getting so many back <laughs> no no it was, we, we are yeah. doing fine sir this is good okay says the um, traitor yes like oh no guys i can only discard cards okay um and then i'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of cards on things and so i think the right stuff to put cards on we now have you can green. only i know i can, can only, only do, do one. one i know but i think for expediency's sake to ensure that next round we are good to go i'm gonna go ahead and grab um one token from sarah and no not i did it wrong i'm gonna grab one green from yourself to put on a trap over here. So you're gonna yeah. use your um, special ability. Yeah, I'm using my special ability. I'm trading that in. May as well just free up next round. I'm gonna load up this other trap. I still can put one more on a trap though. So give me a second. That doesn't have to be all in once. Let me see here. Uh, place them on any trap cards. So good. So then I'm gonna put this one over here. And then Boom, uh, given. That. Yep. And then I believe I'm gonna put my last one down on here. Which is going to free up, uh, what's it called, uh, Scooby Doo to completely complete that trap. Nice. nice. And given yep. the options on the table, who, anyone ever anyone have a vote on what other token they would want placed? I'll just grab one from Sarah because from Daphne because she has a full board otherwise, and throw it on this one. Yeah, I was thinking that's okay. exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. Perfect. Just freeze. And, and you, to be clear, just so everyone knows, whenever you want to draw, draw trap tokens and you don't have space in your player board, you can discard any to the bag. Uh, but this just gives us options. Mm -hmm. There's one rules thing there. We cannot start progression on multiple cards at once. Is that true? Oh, Even he, on Shaggy's? He had a special no, no. ability. Isn't Sh Shaggy says place them on any trap cards. Ah, correct. You were using your special ability, yes. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Great. But just uh, just for clarity there for people, right? Uh, so by using Shaggy's special ability, he was able to... Uh, take resources from other players and placing any, any other trap cards. Yep. Uh, if this was anyone else, or even Shaggy without the ability, we have to complete uh, trap cards uh, one at a time. Yeah. All right, and that was my turn. I've completed a trap card, and uh, to Velma. Okay, so the ability that I have it when my action is to place a visitor token on each location I pass this turn, including where I started, so we can get one back on the Wolf's End Lodge. Mm -hmm. And I guess I don't want to move anywhere, though. And I want to refresh four cards from the discard pile. Very good. Getting uh, some precious so... time back there. Yeah. So I will not flip them. Actually, on the save deck, you can flip them. You're just taking the four topmost. And then we're going to flip them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. And now the creeper moves. It so, does not maybe uh, place any obstacles. Here. Down, over, yeah. one, cross, two, and into Funland. Three. Taking a lot of tourists with them, but they're spread out pretty well, so it's, not, it's probably not too bad. Okay. And this is now going to be entirely reshuffled, which yep. I'll go ahead and do. How many, shuffles, jinx it for us. how many how many shuffles for luck uh, i was doing three i would not ask, ask alex because he's he seems right. he's playing against us i did i did a solid <laughs> i did a solid three okay so deal cards two per two per player we have two full turns in that deck over there that's before anything else okay let's see Let's go to the stern. Okay. I have chosen what I'm going to do. Now let's keep in mind the monster. We have two tokens. We have an and we have a reshuffled deck. So that monster token thing can be a real way to lose the game, given that we had a whole bunch of those threes reshuffled in. Yep. Hundred percent. He could even yeah, he could even draw one he of those could even, uh, three movement deck cards. Uh, he could draw three least. movement and he could go early enough to just completely wipe you out. So I'm almost certain I can go faster than him, and I could go to the Witch's Shack to remove two. If you needed, okay. Alex, what do you have in mind to do this turn? Um, I'm going a little bit later, just because uh, I don't have anything specific in mind. I, I don't have any trap tokens, and I just plan on picking up more trap tokens, so that's basically it. Okay, or I could um, possibly do stuff with cars, but I, I just figured trap tokens. So I'm trying to go as low as well. We'll see. Uh, oh, now I'm going later in the round. Uh, so let's place okay. this one. And this one saved for later. Okay. On one, two, three. Oh, he's going early. All right. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, early? Velma. 
Uh, two luckily, along he's blue. only placing two, so that's that's not going to break the game yet. Okay. Oof, <sighs> we'll be just down two. One mm -hmm. more monster token to lose. Uh, that's okay. We got we got uh, we got plans. My it, it, it played plans. out. I wanted to go after you, Shaggy, so it'll it'll work. We I still think. have my ability that we haven't used. That is true. Yeah. Also, Scooby Doo. Although I assume Scooby Doo's ability only works if the monster is going after. Right. So yeah, when I use it, uh, essentially the card stays open. We don't uh, we don't use it. So in this case, the card will trigger before my turn. Mm. Oh, and it gives you your information for next turn too. Even better. It does. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Okay. So, um, so I guess Velma. Yeah, Velma played yeah. the fastest card on the deck. Yeah. I could potentially move to the Witch's Shack and remove two tokens, but I would get frightened when he moves through. Yeah. Alternatively, I can just give us more cards back, but I can't move in any other direction because we're blocked in. This one is blocked. He will end here, and then he knocked a tree over there. So, I mean, my yeah. vote is you go for card management, and possibly Daphne considers using her ability. Yeah, right now you've got two full turns in cards. So, I mean, you get, you guys are doing good, but getting hit again is not probably going to be beneficial. Yeah. Okay, so I will go ready quick and do four cards for us. Nice. That's my turn. That's pretty powerful. Okay. Daphne, to you. Yeah, so I was thinking of moving here and putting my two tokens on this card. Mm -hmm. You can do that if you bring the mystery machine along because I'm uh, Shaggy's no, no, already. I can, I can move out before you move. But Daphne's going first, isn't she? But there's two, but we allow two in there. Yeah, there's only that's one true. person there, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, uh, yeah. Okay. But we she can't move there token. because there is a token. She would have to take care of that. Oh, Wait, where so was the token? Uh, yeah, I didn't see it either. Us. It's behind the machine. It was behind the mystery machine. Oh, okay. But so why you, don't I just you do my ability, your ability first. Just, yeah. Yeah, so let's use like my it. ability. And then okay. we can get rid of uh, three. So go ahead and remove that. Well, I'll stop removing the one that's in your way. And we can move yep. you there. Does anyone have any preference on the other ones that are removed as far as their movement? Well, all three... Yeah, there's all only... three. Yes, pick the three from the three remaining. I vote on the. I yes. agree with Jesse. Great. It's a good plan. Okay. And, okay, so you can't put your last one down, unfortunately, but that's still fine. Also, it would be a material because your last one has no purpose anymore. I think we could practically speak. And, Gal, correct me if I'm wrong, the last one can go in the bag as far as we're concerned, right? There's no need for it. It could. Uh, you you oh, are able to or discard. No, nope, I'm incorrect. Wolf Lodge. Yeah, Wolf Ends. But you, you can still use them to start trade for two tools. Mm. Yep. Yeah, we still need one more out of our collective resources. Yeah. So yeah, I, w what I meant before is that I I was planning on ending at General's end too. Yeah, but I can move tools, before you. But you move before me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I am gonna go ahead and move out, and I think we just need more tokens. So I can go to the graveyard of ships, or I can go to Vasquez Castle. I can't go to the mall shop because it's occupied, and not interested in walking into the creeper. So I think, given the fact that we need more greens. Um, and more blues. Neither of those particularly. I'll go to the Graveyard of Ships, I think. Uh, you may take one additional resource of the same kind. So I'm going to go to the Graveyard of Ships. I will take two blues because of my ability card, which lets me take an additional resource. Um, and then I will add two visitors back to various locations. And given where the monster is going, let's just keep those nice and populated. Oh, oops. I forgot my special card ability. May place a visit token in the location you started and the location you end your movement. So that's, I'll just take care of that. Okay, right there's one, one, back to, uh, one back to the general <laughs> store. Nice. Excellent. And uh, I am Dunzos. To you, Scooby. All right. So I'm moving here with Daphne. I am playing those two tools there. So I like that we're complete. all Boom. very specifically puzzling this out. Moving this out. And I could potentially already drop, let's say, on that one that we've already started. These two. Both of them. There we go. And I think I was the last for this round, I think. 32. When did, uh, did he not actually, did he not move? I th did we skip? 
we uh, skipped we, him. Oh, no. We may have skipped him. He was supposed to go after Velma. Uh -oh. oh, the ordering. The ordering. Uh -oh. Okay. So that doesn't change my move, though, because I could have walked around him. So it doesn't change my movement. It so doesn't he, change Daphne. Velma stayed where she was. So the only person who might affect a Scooby-Doo. I don't remember what your movement was. No, I was I was here in Maltrop and I just moved this way. Should be fine. So okay. he uh, moved placing okay. his tokens. Okay. And he, we removed two visitors from. Perfect. So, so we incidentally cheated, but didn't affect anything. <laughs> cool. Oops. Unlike Jesse's videos, where when people catch him cheating, it all totally right, gets all right, all right, all right. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's okay. You can edit that out. No, no, no. It's enough of that. It's enough of that, Alex. <laughs> How dare you? Okay. Um, so, that I believe is the round, right? That is the round. Let's yep. go ahead and deal there, two. There's a reason I don't play with designers, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, this uh, honestly? Yeah, it's this pretty impressive. Uh, this ga this game so far, there have been two rules mistakes, both of which were caught by you. It's pretty impressive. Yes, it's what happens when all I'm doing is watching. Uh, and for those viewers keeping track, the other one was before we started filming. Because <laughs> I'm, otherwise, I'm gonna get somebody else being like, ah, "Alex can't count." Yeah. Okay. So we are down to twelve cards on the draw deck. There. Still and have two. To feel. Yeah, we're still yeah. we're good. That's a full turn. We don't even need to win this game. It's just it's just all about fun. Okay, so I have two blues, just as a heads up. I have two blues, but we need to get somebody with a yellow and to get to the trap crafting. So it doesn't look like we'll have any way of actually completing any trap cards this turn. Is that a fair statement? Not, it looks Probably, like it's not yeah. going to be this turn. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to try to pick up a yellow since given my two blues, I already have to try to get there. So I recommend someone have in mind greens. I can get a green. I was going to say, mm. I can potentially trade for tools on the the location I am currently, if you wanted to do something else. Mm. Um, and I'm looking at this. Yellows are hard to get. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. Okay. So, here. that is really annoying. Yeah, yellows you can only really get at the airfield or trading so, at the lodge. Yeah, so I can't get yellow. Take back everything I said. Um... So that means we have to plan around who gets yellow. Uh, otherwise, yeah. we don't have this one. Mm -hmm. um, Just... I, I have a fair chance if the if, if the creeper doesn't uh, throw my plants too much. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this down over here. I, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm planning for the best. And we'll figure it out. Okay. On one, two, three. Okay. 25. Darn it. I was hoping Moving I'd go before three. him and placing three down so let's check Ooh. this out. he's moving on reds so he's going into the lodge he's going across mm. to the uh oh man and then he's gonna go over to the malt shop here yeah, it's gonna hurt velma velma's the only one moving after the creeper yeah okay and so it goes and i believe we start us off with uh myself shaggy's gonna go uh, Shaggy can only move one, and I can't really remove monster tokens unless I walk into a spot, which there are no monster tokens, so that's a bit of a meaningless thing. Um, oh, there are monster tokens. No, there's there two. Yeah, there's two. So, I mean, I don't really, I don't think it's worth uh, giving up two cards, so I'm just going to walk don't, down. You don't have to worry about it this turn. You will have to be paying Correct. attention to it next turn. Correct. So I'm going to head to Vasco's Castle, and I'm just going to grab a green and a red, trying to prep for a little more for those greens. And that's my turn. Plain, simple, and to the point. And I'm thinking here, I can use my ability to kind of stall that card, but I'm not sure it's a good time because he will, we will have to go to the general store to craft the traps anyway. I'm not too sure if we just scoot out of the those areas, let him let him run, and then we come back. And just uh, my card ability will let me reveal the top card of the deck for the next turn, so we might be able to plan a bit better being able to see it. Cool. True. Okay. Also, Velma, correct me if I'm wrong, your your character ability lets you take two greens, and you can trade in your red for uh, yellow, so you're pretty golden as far as getting, as long as you get to the, the lodge next turn, you're good to go. Yes. Yeah, I was going to mention that on my turn. I, I can do that. Okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah, so I agree with you, uh, Guile, in terms of letting, if we let the creeper just move, that way, potentially, if we need to stop him next turn, it gives you options. Yeah, we sort of scoot out of there uh, for this turn, let him run, and then come back to try and finish. Uh, with the fright that Velma's going to take, I think next round may be the last. We're going to move two cards out, mm -hmm. one of our perfect two turns that we had, two rounds. 
So let me go ahead and step down here. That's what I wanted to do. Just go fast enough to grab that yellow that we need to complete. Oh dear, that's where I was going to go. Was that your plan? Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and yeah. you're right after me. <laughs> um. Yeah. You could reach Funland and not get frightened. I think, maybe. You could yeah, also then clear I... the one of the monster tokens. From Funland. Uh, in general, from the alternative ability from Funland. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. Um, so do we have all the tokens we need then? I believe we do. I okay. think so. Let's uh, yellows there, two blues, and. Uh... But, but no, try to get your hands on blues if you're able to, because I I can't guarantee that I'll be able to move the right direction, sure. or the monster won't be in the way or any of that stuff. Yeah. I mean, I could go here, but I would get frightened. No, get hit. no, yeah. and, and that's only get you one blue anyway. So unless you're getting two blues, I don't think there's a point. All right, then I'll just go to Funland so we can get rid of a monster okay. token, right? Hopefully, I get at least two movement, uh, three movement apparently, actually. Which one do we want to get rid of? Not great. Um, uh, which what monster token? Yeah, yeah I, probably, probably, I would probably argue that, that one. Yeah. Middle one. Yep. Probably should block so much of the board. Okay. Okay. I got it. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay. If you get, yeah, that's cool. Yep. Okay. And we get two people back. Is that it? It looks like it, right? Yep. Yeah. Y yeah. So... so here, and either here or here. Okay, in the graveyard ships and the fun land. Well, he's definitely. Where's he definitely walking through? Are there any fill spots? He no, I think he's going through. Yeah, pristine location. Yeah. That should be fine. Okay, oh, uh, cool. We can use my ability and check where the monster will go next. So my card ability is to look at the top of the monster. Nice. Let's do that. So, uh, I have that on my card already. If you want to save your ability. Well, it's her card ability. Well, Both of you. Have yeah, it's just a card yeah. ability. Yeah. So he it's is three. Oh. three. He's and definitely he's... dropping. Yeah, and I'm he's going this. on 21, and he's following red. So he's going to end here, which means he's going to move one, two, three. So put okay. a visitor and back here. All of, and all of those borders do not have a monster token, which means we will have to deal with it. It'll, it'll, it looks like it'll come down to the last round. We have to uh, yep. craft that trap and stop him from and stop knocking him at the same time. Yeah. So I put a, a visitor token back here, right? So... No, we'd we'd already placed two. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, so we filled off. in. We'll fill in the graveyard in Funland. So. Okay, sure. And now that's the creeper's turn. Okay, creeper's gonna move. Um, I'll go ahead and grab it. One, one yep. two, and three. And so let me I get the footprints out of oh. the way. Okay. And, and we take the two off the draw deck as well. And we do have to discard two cards because he frightened Velma when mm -hmm. he entered the lodge. Okay. And our our pool of cards is now down to uh, fourteen cards, which is not mm -hmm. enough for two full rounds. It's okay. So depending how we draw, we'll have to either recover or, well, we have a lot of things we need to manage. Let's do it. Okay. Everyone, discard your cards. I still need to take my turn. Oh, that you can do that if oh. you if you insist. <laughs> I, I would like to. That's okay. Um, I mean, if you must. So I'm gonna <laughs> trade in my net. For two tools. You were so frightened, we forgot you had acted. Story of my life. Uh, and then, should I use my ability as well to grab two greens? Yeah, we, we need eyes oh. on greens. There we go. So, I will take my sandwich away and I will grab two greens. All right. This is uh this this very well maybe the turn. You know that the uh you know that the monster is gonna be going on twenty-one, moving three. And do we have his footprints stepped? Let me go ahead and put his footprints down here. Yeah, we so can red to red to red. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna and need at least three have... movement. Okay, who wants cards first? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Just using the same uh, order. By the way, in a physical game, uh, people would just... Uh, we can just agree who grabs cards there, right? It's uh, woes of the digital world, right? I'm just dealing okay. to everyone here. Yep. 
And well, we're down to six cards total here between want... draw and save. So, so just the bad news stance, uh, since we know the monster uh, go, is going to drop three tokens and we don't have three tokens, and I personally may or may not be able to go before the monster, uh, just we need to get rid of some tokens. Mm -hmm. The problem now is I cannot um... contribute with my with um, my tokens, right? I mean, I can go try. We, we know his card. This is his card for this turn, right? Yes. I can get I to the shack can... and finish things off. Velma can obviously get to the shack and finish things off, but we need monster tokens not to be a problem. Yeah. And, and um, we can take... Yeah. I'll try to take care of that. And it looks like we can take Fright at least three times this turn. So we'll the go. Fright can we use your ability four. to stop him moving? We can. I'm thinking of going before him, ah. stalling that card and getting the token, if I can. Oh, makes sense. Perfect. And Fright won't be a factor either in terms of that. Okay. So I'm ready. So I can uh, only move slow. Yep. I played my card. Oh, I should have flipped that before I showed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I accidentally did the thing with this card this turn. All right. <laughs> On one, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right, let's see if we have it. Daphne, to you. I'll be able to get to the shack, so assuming... Yeah, it looks like... I think we're good. Yeah, I mean, I don't have anything super useful, except that if I put a visitor back, I can put one additional visitor token back. Um, Go ahead. Just Yeah, play it out. May as well. All right, is there anywhere specific we want to do that? I mean, I only have one movement, so it's either here or... He Wait, I can't go here. That's blocked, right? And you can't go to the Vasquez Castle. So I would say just stay where you are. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah so and, useless. <laughs> and, and, and Funland does allow you to restore um, visitors, so it does match our card. Uh, okay, sure. Okay, so I can still restore a visitor somewhere else, yeah? Yeah, anywhere, yeah. All right, so, so we can, can put one here. Three visitors. Yeah, and one here. And then do we want oh, to and you one? can remove the monster token which blocking Daphne. Velma, I mean blocking Velma. Oh. So I'll grab that monster token. Okay. Yeah, I cool. think worth a fright, doing all that. Yeah. Well, it's only a fright if the monster is activating. That's true. I'm moving to the witch's shack. I'm eating my sandwich. So we're stalling mm -hmm. out this card and uh, getting rid of two monster tokens. I I think there's only two left, or there is no, there are three. There's three left. I'm getting rid of the access to the general store there, and I'm thinking this one on the airfield. So we have easier access to anything there in sure. the middle of the board if we need. And that was my turn. Okay, uh, Velma, to you. Okay, so now out of curiosity, Velma, was that the lowest card you had? I had one that was lower, but it didn't give me enough movement without that monster token disappearing. Ah, gotcha. Okay, cool. Because, uh, yeah, you had to go before me, otherwise we were in trouble. So uh, we're good. Good yeah. luck that we got the 37 there. <laughs> Very close. Uh, so I will stick tool on there. So that completes that one. And there. then I will drop oh. the two branches on here. Uh, nice. Fun fact, Matt, fun fact. Uh, yeah. I only just occurred to me now. You also could have played the lower card relying on the gas token to move the mystery machine. That's true. That is true. I didn't think about that. I only just mm. realized. Yep. Then we got very lucky that I uh, got slightly below you in the initiative. Okay. Uh, that's me done. Okay. And then to my turn. So I'm going to go ahead and walk four, which will be one, two to here, to the to there for three to the there. And then I believe, dun, 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 dun. All right, on the very last turn. Yay. Not even close. All right, gang. We did manage to, uh, to trap the creeper, bring him to justice this time around. That was a balancing yeah. act, though. I thought you all were going to lose like four different times. Jesse <laughs> of little faith. Um, I believe Jesse firmly <laughs> stated in the beginning of this game that he was not participating and he was not well, in this game, which means Alex... we all have one win and Jesse has zero. <laughs> uh, let's let's just be clear, Alex. You won on medium. <laughs> yeah. So much for the trader mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
Uh, very cool. So I, I'll go ahead and start talking a little bit, but I wanted to do a, a little bit of a final thoughts thing, uh, see if we have any questions for... I do have a question for uh, uh, for you, uh, Guile. How many episodes of Scooby-Doo did you watch when you first started working on this project? Uh, pretty much all of them that got aired in Brazil. So we didn't get all the episodes in Brazil. Uh, the local channels would buy a number of them, of the famous cartoons, and run them here. Uh, I, I ran, uh, I, I watched them all, and I watched with my kid. Uh, I have a, a nice. seven-year-old boy, so it was great to catch up. It's it's amazing how the uh, the IP, you know, Scooby Doo just transcends generation. Like uh, yeah. my parents knew of it. I grew up watching it. My son uh, loves it. So it's uh, it was a, it's a great experience to 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 rerun all those, and uh, especially as Fred and I were trying to capture this. Um, you know, inviting game you can play with friends and captures the essence of the of the show. Uh, lets you lets you coordinate with friends and just have a bit of chaos with the monsters just going around wrecking. Uh, wrecking I'll I'll tell you what my standard like initial thought when it came to a Scooby Doo game uh, was going to be much more of a detective type of game, right? Especially as a cooperative approach. Uh, I like that you didn't do that. Um, I do. I like this. This was a. This was a interesting little puzzle that everyone was like actively involved in solving throughout the course of the game i'm interested in seeing some of the harder modes i'm interested in seeing how this scales up how it gets messier with different types of villains and as you start integrating all the different stuff you'll have on the kickstarter page uh i want to see it's sort of an element of this reminds me of when we were doing our very first playthrough of uh, marvel uh and part of that was you could tell where it fit as a family game Right, you can see kind of the audience that you've designed this for, sitting around the table, having fun, playing in an IP, uh, playing in a world that that everyone loves. And then the question for me, when it comes to like Simon titles and and the stuff that you all do, is always, where do you start making it messier and messier? Like, what's the what's the pinnacle of this that not even you have figured out how to beat yet? Which I'm excited to see, genuinely, because um, the puzzle here at medium level uh, was interesting, even though I wasn't playing it, I was fully engaged the whole time. Uh, it- Sorry to cut you there. I was going to say, we had to balance that out too. Like, this game uh, made us play test way outside our usual, uh, usual crowd. We had to mm. play with a lot of people who are completely uh, new to games in general. People who are coming into a hobby store, maybe for the first few times, and just, you know, they recognize the, the IP and, and it's super fun for them to be able to be accessible. But the game, as you said, has to present a challenge, right? It's it's have to have, have, to have enough of a challenge there for you to just uh, be able to which is to try to come up to optimal solution or, you know, capture the monster at the end, if you can. Uh, so there, there was definitely a lot of uh, sourcing to, to that specific audience. Um, and I think one of the things that uh, we like the most about the game is that, like I said, it's a cooperative without perfect information, right? You cannot just boss people telling them what to do. I don't know what everyone else has in their hands. We're able to kind of chit chat and know a little bit of what we want to do in general terms. We don't know when the monster plays. Uh, it's it's one of those. You know, those are the uh, the the aims we had uh, coming into this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so I'll say. Uh, you go ahead, Jesse. No, you're good. Sorry. Uh, so I'll say. Yeah. I mean, I, I, so first of all, something I didn't even say until now is I'm not a Scooby Doo fan. Uh, I'm not against Scooby Doo, but I've watched I think zero complete episodes of it in my life. Mm. I've seen clips here and there, bits and pieces. I know my kids like it, which is why I was so, already interested in this. So, but, Alex, you you might be wanting to pay attention to some of the other titles we're playing uh, in anticipation for this. Then, just throwing that out there. So, sounds good. I'll, I'll I'll take note of that. But my I guess the reason I'm specifically bringing that up is, as somebody who is not a Scooby Doo fan, I thoroughly enjoyed this. Um, I, I am very curious, like Jesse said, to see what comes next. What what's like I know something they did with Marvel is the idea that there was the core game appealing to the core audience, and then there were ways to integrate or add different elements and mechanics to adjust the experience i would say in this state that it's in now i think it makes an excellent gateway game i think it makes an excellent family game i very much enjoyed the puzzles presenting uh we saw all of us clearly saw how it was a very tightly managed puzzle while we won there are multiple things we have to manage perfectly to make that happen and i can't even imagine just tilting it too hard just introduces five more things or four more things i guess that would get in our way so Absolutely. this was tightly managed then. So so overall, I liked it. I think it's I think it's great in its current form, and it's probably doing exactly what you intended to do, uh, crossing that you know gateway family, but also being I'd be perfectly content pulling this out of game night. Uh, while not the you know 
you know, the tight, heavy strategy or whatever, I think I would enjoy it. And I can't wait to see what else gets added, both from just stretch goals, additional expansions, deluxified, who knows what. So, yeah, I'm a fan. I mean, there's a few deluxe components that I'm excited for. Sarah Vistari, what, uh, any initial thoughts or impressions or questions for, uh, for the designer here? I got mine in about Scooby-Doo and watching as many episodes as possible. That was what I was genuinely interested about. <laughs> Yeah, so just like Alex, I never really watched Scooby-Doo. Um, I was a Flintstones kind of person, but I still really enjoyed playing it. And even though I'm not a huge fan of cooperatives, this is one that I actually enjoyed out of all the co-op games I've played. So this is one I would not mind playing again for sure. And I'm sure it'll be even more amazing with the minis. So yeah, it was cool. Matt? I think for uh, from my like, perspective, it's deceptively, like, the, the idea of a family game, Scooby-Doo, it's deceptively think, oh, this is going to be really easy, this is going to be simple. But, like, you could see we really came close to losing at some point. So, like, I, I think it really, it goes on that line of being a family gateway game, but also being difficult enough that, well, you wouldn't be able to expect it to be that difficult for a, a Scooby-Doo game, but I, I really enjoyed my time with it. How yeah, do you, you get to the point where you are in this in this i mean i know the development process has, has been out of your hands for a little bit it's how games kind of process and go through yep. the stages but when you were initially sitting down with this ip and watching through old reruns of scooby-doo why'd you settle on uh this kind of helter skelter uh chaos management system as opposed to a uh, detective theme or, or some of the other things that people would associate with scooby-doo so I think it's a marriage of two things. Uh, one, we knew we wanted to focus on the action part of the game. We wanted the helter skelter feeling of people running around town and fighting the monster. We wanted the action part of the episodes down there. And uh, we we also thought that that would very much complement the gameplay with the, the, the game, the product stuff we wanted to do. So the miniatures, they are larger, mm. larger miniatures. They're not our, you know, our zombie sides scale. They're, they're big, chunky miniatures. Something that you may, you know, want to have out in your desk, even when you're not playing the game, like sort of a bit sure. of a memorabilia there for the, for the uh, IP. Um, and, um, and sort of that, uh, the onset kind of drove where we wanted it to be. We wanted it to be the action, uh, you know, gorgeous game on the table, getting, getting the family out there. And uh, like Matt said, right, it's, People approach it thinking, you know, it's you know, it, it, it you know, it's a, a cool IP, you know, family cartoons. Let's let's give this a run, and then the game is not that easy, right? It, it's designed to be a puzzle. I can't wait to see, you know, uh, on a family setting, people are playing, and the uncle goes, "Wait, what? We lost, right?" <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Well. Either way, uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, those of you that have stayed tuned to this point, please be sure to swing over into the Kickstarter and leave a, a solid quack in the comments over there. Uh, I'm sure Alex and I will be responding to you as much as possible. Uh, Alex, you're now commissioned to respond to quacks on my behalf as well, just for the hundred percent. I don't have any on my channel anymore, so I can jump over to you. <laughs> uh, either way, I, uh, I want to go ahead and say, thank uh, Vistari, uh, uh, Sarah Shaw and uh, Alex Radcliffe for taking the time to uh, sit down and play. Uh, and Guile, even though they didn't lose to your game, as I was personally hoping, thank you so much for teaching and uh, and running this. I hope you've enjoyed this gameplay video. I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, I have to say, in my opinion, Simon is knocking it out of the park with these collaborations, and I am really excited to see what else they have in store for us. Uh, so, with all that being said, once again, I want to thank Simon. I want to thank Warner Brothers for making all of this possible. And of course, Simon for uh, sponsoring this video. Uh, and whatever you do, whatever the case, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. Thank you.